Just go ahead. YOLO! <laughs> GM, GM, GM. I've been getting a lot of people asking me how to buy Brett. So, I woke up early today. I really want to go back to sleep, but I'm not to do this video, <laughs> okay? Because there's several ways to buy Brett. Um, what's going on, guys? Protodoge here, and today we're... I forgot my intro. Um, but just like, subscribe, share the video. Um, I'll do. I'll show you guys how to buy Brett. Uh, there's a variety of different ways. Um, the easiest and most common way, if you live in the U.S. and you're watching this video, is download Coinbase if you don't already have Coinbase. Get Coinbase. Um, the app. There's two, right? There's the Coinbase Exchange and then there's the Coinbase Wallet. Download the Coinbase Exchange. All right, set it up just like you would anything else. Go on there, deposit some money, whether it's from your bank, connect your bank, whether it's a debit card, a credit card, whatever it is. Note that if you connect your bank and the money comes in from your bank, it's going to be stuck in Coinbase for anywhere from four to seven days without being able to move out. So in this case, you want to just use a debit card directly or Apple Pay or something because once it's taken out of your card immediately, you can move it out of Coinbase, which is what we need to do for this right here. Buy some Ethereum, okay? You buy the Ethereum, then you set up a separate hot wallet. What is a hot wallet? I hope you guys know that. But if you don't, a hot wallet is a MetaMask. So go in the App Store, download MetaMask if you don't have it, or... um. Coinbase wallet is fine too. You can download Coinbase wallet. Um, what else is there? Is there another another common wallet? There's also Phantom wallet, and I could show you guys how to use that too. But these are just examples of hot wallets, like Trust Wallet. Remember BNB, Binance, Smart Chain. Their wall, the wallet there was a uh, Trust Wallet. That's what I have my Floki in. I have it on Trust Wallet. So it's all the same kind of concept. Okay. Um, then what you want to do is you take the Ethereum that you bought on the Coinbase exchange and then you send it to either your MetaMask or your Coinbase wallet. Those two examples are what I used. Um, and when you send it, before you send the Ethereum, it's going to ask you what network do you want to send the Ethereum on? You select base chain, right? So it says base. Click on that. That's how you send the Ethereum now. All right, so let me show you exactly what that looks like on the app, right? So this is the Coinbase Exchange app, okay? So you click on Ethereum, you click on buy, you're gonna buy Ethereum, and then down here it says pay with, you click on that, and you want to pay with, like I said, Apple Pay or a debit card, or else you're not gonna be able to move the money out until it settles into the account, if you try to go through a bank, okay? So just use a debit card or use Apple Pay directly. So you buy it. Once you buy it and you have the Ethereum, you click send, right? And this is what I'm talking about. When you send the Ethereum, you get to choose which network you send it on. Now, this is another reason why I'm so bullish on base chain. It's because of how cheap it is. It's the fastest option, as you can see right here. And it's only 36 cents to send it instead of the regular Ethereum price of $5.70 here. So you want to click on base chain. And then you put in your Ethereum address at the top, and then you just send it, okay? And it'll go to the base chain on your wallet, whether it's MetaMask or Coinbase, and that's how you get it. You will receive the Ethereum on the base network. So when you have the MetaMask or you have the Coinbase wallet, you have to make sure you're on the base network or else you're not gonna see the Ethereum. More than likely, the default network on the wallet is going to be ethereum so you want to click that and then you're going to see a, a bunch of other options underneath that okay so this is what it looks like on your metamask wallet right at the very top you see ethereum main network that's just the default option you click up there and that's where you can switch the network to base mainnet the issue is it doesn't come like this like how you see it on my phone i had to add it so you click down and you click add network right custom networks you put in base chain and then the RPC URL, the chain ID, and then the symbol should pop up, and the Block Explorer URL. You can find all of this on Google. Just Google Base Chain Custom Network Add, and then all of this should pop up, and you can go ahead and add it, and you'll be able to see it. On 
on the Coinbase wallet, obviously, since Base Network is the Coinbase network, it has it there already. So all you have to do is find where um, you see the Ethereum main network, click it, and then, and then go down to Base and click on Base. By the way, here's my Squid Grow. Shout out to Squid Grow. Here's my Optimus. Shout out to Optimus. And here's my The Cat. Shout out to The Cat. This is just my uh, main wallet on metamask and the cat actually used to be grumpy cat if you guys remember me talking about that last year that was grumpy cat they migrated over and created the cat still haven't sold a single coin by the way voila your ethereum should be right there then what you want to do is within the wallet whether it's a metamask or coinbase you open up the web browser right then you want to go to uniswap.org you click on uniswap.org like you would buy any other uh meme coin uh, except now you're on base chain right so then you Copy the contract address of Brett, which I will leave here in the video somewhere so you can see it. Okay, make sure, double check the contract address, make sure it's the right address. You copy that, right? And then you put it in custom to search for that coin. Brett should pop up. Then you swap it so you see the Ethereum at the top, Brett at the bottom. You put how much Ethereum you wanna buy of Brett, it'll calculate how much Brett you'll be getting how much Brett you'll get. For all my visual learners out there, this is what it looks like on your MetaMask. We're back on my MetaMask wallet. At the very top, you see base mainnet. That's the base network. And I sent about a thousand bucks in Ethereum over. Now at the bottom right-hand corner, I click web browser. You go to uniswap.org, okay? App, app.uniswap.org. And then you connect your wallet on the top right-hand corner, okay? So then you hit max on Ethereum. That's what I have, about a thousand bucks obviously give or take a little bit you click select token and then you put the contact address for brett i'll put that in the description section that's what it is you'll see brett pop up you click on brett and then it'll tell you exactly how much brett you'll get and then you click swap confirm swap confirm and there you have it, folks. I just got $50,000, 50000 50000 Brett. Click back to the wallet here. And then you're like, oh, where's the Brett? I don't see the Brett. Where's, where's the Brett, pro? Where'd, you, where'd the Brett go? See, at the bottom, you see transaction complete. Well, if you don't see it, what you have to do is you import it. You click on import. You put that same contact address in here. You'll see Brett pop up. Brett import boom there's my bread there's my bread okay so that's how you do it but that's how you get bread if you have if you live in the u.s and you are able to get coinbase that's the easiest way to do it if you live outside the u.s i'm going to do another video separate video showing you how to bridge your ethereum over to base chain through a different website okay so for now i'm just going to post this one i feel like the majority of my uh, followers have Coinbase or are in the U.S. so they can get Coinbase pretty easily and set up a hot wallet if they don't already have it. Um, if you're outside the U.S., I'll do a follow-up video showing you guys exactly how to get bread, okay? Oh, and I forgot to say finger guns at the end, but since I'm holding up my phone, it's, it's just one hand. It's just one gun this time. It's just one gun today, okay? Finger gun. Yeah, <laughs>